Hello my lovelies, today's video is all about fragrances, perfumes I really dislike and the ones that I would buy instead. These are very popular ones that I just, I don't get on with so this was a hard list to come up with because I love most perfumes and this is supposed to be light-hearted so if you love some of these, no hard feelings. You can share with me your unpopular opinions as well in the comments so we can have fun with it. But the first perfume that I just don't get on with and I don't like it's Carolina Herrera good girl okay <laughs> this perfume is so incredibly strong and I remember first time smelling it on somebody and I hated it and maybe because this just the memory with this scent is so strong so vivid it's just I don't like it I went to a Christmas party like a work Christmas party and one girl there wore this but she must have worn like half of the bottle of it it was so suffocatingly strong throughout the whole meal I couldn't taste anything other than like tasting the scent because it was in my nose so strongly I couldn't taste the food and it was just too artificial too chemical it's just too much to me the scent is just like all that is wrong with perfumes <laughs> all that i don't want in a perfume i know it might be unpopular but i really just i would never want to smell like good girl like the original but what i would buy instead and i love this one is very good girl so i love this flanca i love the legere so the light version of it as well so i think it's just the original but obviously the original gave the whole line like the hype because so many people were into the cocoa note which to me was like too artificial too dusty but very good girl i love the sweetness that is in there i love the fruitiness i love like the strawberry sort of a note that is super fun and to me that is like playful fun gourmand like everything i love in a perfume so you've got two opposites in the same line let me know if you are a lover of good girl by carolina herrera you know i'm I'm in the minority here, but I just dislike it really a lot. Next up is a very popular fragrance. I wouldn't say I hate this one, but I was really surprised because there's such a huge, huge hype uh, around this fragrance and it has been like hyped for years. I remember like just years, going back years. It's Guerlain Spirit. I can't even pronounce it. It's like Spirit with double vanille or something i don't know how to pronounce that first word in french but it, it is the vanilla from the exclusive Guerlain line and i was expecting to absolutely love it i have been stalking the notes forever and i was like yes yes finally i'll get to smell it but i was so disappointed because it wasn't what i was expecting from a Guerlain's vanilla i was expecting it to be deeper but thankfully i discovered another vanilla from the exclusive Guerlain um, la, uh, line that I absolutely love and it is Angelique Noir. This vanilla I love. To me like the name should be on that fragrance because although it's not all about vanilla it's more like tonka, it's more of an earthy deep vanilla. It's very just multifaceted whereas the spiritus double vanille to me that is very simple just very linear and i was expecting like 3d 4d just mind-blowingly just for gourmand lovers like you know something like fev delicious from dior that is just like whoa it's a whole experience to me double vanille like disappointed me so much and it's so hyped but angelique noir it's on my list i love it it's just vanilla but it's like uh, it's so different you can spend like forever just smelling it and trying to figure out all the nuances of it so i love it so much next up i've got zerjov fragrance and you guys know i love zerjov but zerjov naxos is one of those fragrances that everybody seems to be absolutely obsessed with it's the best seller from the whole zerjov line like it, it's just everywhere men love it women love it everybody seems to absolutely love it and i i get it but also i mean it's 
quite similar to the Amen Pure Havan from Thierry Mugler line. And to me, that fragrance, maybe because it links to the Zerjovnak sauce, to me, it always will remind me a bit of that. And to me, the Pure Havan one wasn't the most attractive cologne ever. Um, to grace my nose. I just didn't like it. I thought it was a bit cheap, a bit just like, mm. and I do admit Naxos is far, far above it, like elevated. And, but there is something that just links to that Mugler fragrance and I just can't get over it. So for me, although I like it on other people, I would just, I wouldn't personally wear it maybe. I've worn like samples of it and tried to really get on with it. But maybe I just need more time. To me something that I love though, if you want that boozy like caramelly um, note, I love Carna Barcelona El Born. I just, to me, that is what I love. It's a similar sort of vibe of a fragrance, but this is like a boozy, caramelly, vanilla that is so sophisticated so niche just oh just delicious for and for so that's what i would get instead next up we've got poems of um, poems or poets of berlin from wilhelm parfumerie uh, this fragrance again i keep seeing it like when i go on fragrantica i keep seeing like people reviewing it i even got a sample of it i saw it like victoria beckham was like really raving about it it was all on all the online like magazines like what where and everything like the newest hottest brand and i was like okay let's get a sample of it let's really try it and to me ah uh, no I know, like, I don't want to be mean, but at the same time, I'm like, why would you wear it as a perfume? I just don't get it. Like, if it's your favorite fragrance, go for it. But I just really don't get it. Maybe I have to spend more time with it, even more time with it, but it's just not my vibe, not my cup of tea. It's really funny because so many people love it. And I'm just like, it's super spiky. It's just, there is something off about it. I wouldn't even put it like as a, a shower sort of fragrance. I wouldn't enjoy washing myself with this sort of a shower gel. I just don't enjoy this fragrance whatsoever. And it, it does remind me of a lot of other niche fragrances. I mean, I think it's very similar. So, I mean, like it just, I know this DNA, I've smelled it before and I was like, oh, this is it? Like, oh no, I don't want it. But what I would get, like some vibes from this fragrance, I would get YSL Tuxedo from the exclusive line. This fragrance, my dog is drinking water. <laughs> So what I would get instead is YSL Tuxedo. I mean, it does have some of this like spiky greenery. It's a much more rounded fragrance, I would say. It's much more of a pleasant experience and smoother to my nose. It's because Ports of Berlin is a bit like just too spiky to me. I don't know if you know what I mean, but too spiky too in my nose like i need things to be a bit softer i need things to be a bit more round but this one yeah i would get tuxedo over this one for sure next fragrance uh, that is very popular and it's lancome oud bouquet and to me this fragrance i think I, for a while i was lying to myself that i was into it <laughs> you know when you just really want to like a fragrance but i just I'm, I don't like it that much to ever buy it, but I, I think it's a nice start for somebody who is into oud, but I much prefer and love Oud Satin Mood from MFK, any version of uh, Oud Bouquet from Lancome. To me, Oud Bouquet is a bit too sugary. I think it's very heavy um, and it's something that is just too overwhelming. Although Oud Satin Mood is very intense and very long lasting, all of that, so it seems like they both would be very similar and like I would like both of them, but for some reason there is something, maybe that velvety tactile sort of a feeling in Oud Satin Mood. It's very smooth and I just enjoy fragrances that are easy to wear 
with Lancome Wood Bouquet. That fragrance is, is too in my face. It's just really intense. I can't smell anything else, but in like a bad way. Maybe I'm not strong enough or not, you know, something my skin just doesn't quite work with that fragrance. And although I think on paper, it's a great one for some reason, I just can't get it to work on my skin. Next up is Marc Jacobs Daisy. I used to like this fragrance, but now I think there's so many other nicer fragrances. And to me, this fragrance is super popular. And I mean, I'm sure it's very popular amongst like younger people because it's super fresh and nice. And I think the whole marketing also is like speaking to younger people but to me um there's green fragrances that are really fun that are just better this one is just a bit meh it doesn't have like a strong character so if i was super into green fragrances and i wanted something a bit more unique but still designer i would go for balenciaga paris this fragrance is green but in a very nuanced, different way. When it dries down on the skin, it changes to just the most beautiful scent. It's like such a pleasure to wear it. It just, it's green, but it's not too green. It's not too intensely green. So you feel literally like a plant. <laughs> no, it's a very nicely balanced green fragrance. And to me, it's one of those that I don't hear about that often. It's like one of the secret gems. It's not hyped, but I love it because I can still smell unique in a, like a understated way, but still on a designer budget with that one. And another fragrance that I'm not the biggest fan of. I like it, but I think there's better. So it's My Way from Armani. I mean, My Way, it's just a huge hit and I get why it's got such a huge audience and love for it. But to me, there's one fragrance in particular. I mean, I would enjoy My Way. Like if I was to wear it, I would still enjoy it. And I would actually go for the Nectar version of it or the Intense because those are really good. But the original, I just wouldn't buy it probably because it's just not as good as the other flankers. But there is a newer fragrance that has come out, Prada Paradox, that is very similar vibes, very pretty, floral, youthful, but it's so good. I mean, I can't stop wearing Prada Paradox. It's excellent. It's so fun. It lasts. It just has a very distinct character, strong will. This fragrance, I mean, there's many that are similar smelling, but for some reason, I just love Prada Paradox so, so much. It's my favorite from this sort of a um, sparkling, girling, girling, girly sort of a fragrance. I love it so much, so I would get that one over Armani my way any day. Must see, what are you doing? Let me know what is one fragrance that is super popular, but you just don't like it and what you would think would be a good alternative. I would love to hear your thoughts. And as always, like be nice in the comments. I'm only lighthearted, like perfume is so personal that we all have opinions on different smells. So it's all okay. We can be friends, okay? So I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one again. Yeah, bye. <laughs>